Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount from Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. So don't forget to check the description for details. Welcome back everybody, RGB here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of the WinLater 8. And this one comes with a ton of improvements and bug fixes compared to previous versions. All right, so here we've got a refreshed UI, a built-in file manager, new screen effects like FXAA and CRT shaders, and updates to input controls and audio drivers. Plus, they've worked out fixes for Android 14 issues, and they also updated DXVK, Box 64, and Turnip drivers as well. Let's get into the setup and see what's new. All right, simply download and install the package file. Open WinLadder. Enable storage permission. It starts to install system files. All right, now let's head over to settings. Here there is a new mouse option where you can adjust cursor speed and you can also adjust cursor size, cursor color as well. You can also enable cursor to touch point. In game controllers, you can set connect both X input and direct input controllers for keyboards, mouse, game pads as well. By default, it's set to both. Here the box 64 is set default 0.3.0 and also set preset to performance and the wine version 9.2, which is stable. This time I'll leave these settings to default, okay. Now save settings. All right, now an input control, same as usual. This time there are no worries because they already implemented X input and direct input controllers. Let's go to container, add container, set resolution based on aspect ratio you want. Select graphic driver to turnip. Go to driver settings. Here I'll go with the latest turnip driver 24.2.0. Enable frame sync. DX wrapper set to DXVK. Go to its settings. I'll leave these settings to default. Here there's new option to set custom GPU device. Set audio driver to pulse audio. In audio configuration, you can set its performance mode of latency. Here I'll leave these to default. Enable FPS. And on wine configuration, these are mostly same as usual. Here you can set desktop DPI font size, which will increase the system font size windows. Set GPU name to GTX 1080 or above. For low end Adreno, set it to GTX 480, it's optional. Set GPU video memory to maximum on wine components, same as usual. No need to change them. Go to environment variables, add new variable. Enable DXVK HUD, set value to one to enable FPS stats. Here choose the stats you wanna display. Now go to advanced. Here set startup selection to aggressive. Here you can also set the Windows version. Set it to Windows 10. In processor affinity, enable all CPU cores. Save the container. So here on options, they added file manager. Here you can able to manage files, access files from here itself. You can change the files view. All right, now let's boot the system container. Here I'll enable my phone's performance mode. And there we go. On side, we got a new option, screen effect. You can adjust the brightness, contrast levels, also the gamma. New screen effects options like FXAA and CRT shaders. Okay, I'll leave them to default. Now go to start. System tools and let's check out the Direct3D. All right, this time there is a huge bump in performance and in FPS. In the last update, we used to only get like 900 to 1000 FPS. But this time a big step. All right, in wine configuration, we have already set to Windows 10 during the container setup. All right guys, it's time to test some titles. In this video, I'm going to test the Assassin's Creed Rogue at high settings with anisotropic filtering quality 4X custom settings at 720p, and it's based on DirectX 11.
stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Alright, and there we go. The game looks insanely well. The textures, motion effects, and the quality at this point. Well, you won't like for firewood at least. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. Also, I'll soon do a test video for non-Adreno users. I mean, for Mali devices. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.